Okay, so this is one of the things I want to talk about regarding the, the gun issue. Um, this is uh, Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson. He's running for re-election in Arkansas. That's the Arkansas flag over there, by the way. And he is running against Arkansas uh, gun activist and conservative activist Jan Morgan. And he does have Democrat opponents in November, but he has little chance. Uh, they have little chance of defeating him. And it, or see, there's a libertarian named Mark West who's running against him in November. But politically speaking, his biggest challenge is going to be Jan Morgan in the Republican primary that's happening May 22nd, a few days from now. This is at the Boone County Republican Committee meeting. And as part of his uh, speech for why people should vote for him, uh, our, our current governor is touting his Second Amendment credentials. Give him uh, his street cred among the what we call the gun nuts. Uh, of course, Asa Hutchinson, as part of his resume, touts how he was a official in the, in the National Rifle Association, also known as the NRA. And the NRA has is the largest uh, group that advocates for uh, gun rights in the Second Amendment. As an official of the National Rifle Association, however, Asa has had to be corrected on a few issues um, years ago. But this is regarding the Sandy, this speech is going to be partially regarding the Sandy Hook incident and what he did after that. And this is just a few seconds, so what I'll do is I'll play this clip and then kind of analyze it and kind of break it down, what was actually said here. Hold on just a second. I just want to about the Second Amendment and the Sandy Hook incident uh, where we lost so many children because of the violence shooting the schools. I was almost standing alone on the national stage defending the Second Amendment and saying the solution is school safety and not infringing on individual rights. Okay. Okay, so basically this guy said that he was practically alone in defending the Second Amendment after the Sandy Hook shooting incident, where uh, a crazy guy who should have been locked up by our government um, but instead was allowed to roam free and I believe he killed his mother, took the AR-15 and the mother was the one who had bought it, which means the background checks or banning people from the age of 21 from having uh, guns uh, wouldn't have applied because Adam Lanza was let younger than 21. He was just able to steal the weapon and go to a gun-free zone and massacre a bunch of innocent people and was not stopped for a long time because the people there were not armed. Um... The idea that you are practically standing alone defending Second Amendment rights after Sandy Hook is an absolute 100-face, bull-face lie. You were not practically alone. Matter of fact, you really weren't that very active. I believe you went on one uh, liberal TV show, Face the Nation, and you touted the NRA's policy. Uh, probably the person who, would, who took the brunt of the uh, standing for Second Amendment rights after Sandy Hook is the same one who stands uh, for it after the Parkland and most of the other shootings, Dana Lash. Um, Dana was the one who really uh, took a lot of heat for the uh, for defending the Second Amendment, I'm gonna I'm gonna just switch off this guy, and then uh, this will be cut up into segments here. So it'll be one long segment, and I'll kind of talk a little more about this uh, in just a second. <laughs> 